show you how you can use this TPT digital activity tool with any PDF type worksheet in my TPT store. So um, when you go to the product page, you'll see this red button. It will say create digital activity for you. So you are going to click that button and then it will open up this sheet where you can prepare. So um, thankfully, I have gone through and added text boxes and anything else that you might need um, in just about all of the PDFs in my store, I believe. So you should not have any extra work to do here. What you are going to have to do is because many of my resources are differentiated, is go to this edit page right here. And you are going to choose what level you want to assign to what students at each time. After you select all of the pages that you do not want, you are going to click remove first. Okay, now you see the pages you want, click save changes, and you can see those text boxes are there, so you're ready to go. You can preview it, and this is a great place to test it out with the text, pen, highlight, type, um, to make sure it will work for your students, and I'll show you what that will look like later. And then you will go to assign. You need to have Google Classroom. TPT says they're working on getting it um, to be able to be used with other um, online learning platforms, but right now it's only Google Classroom. So you will um, click that link and then you will get an access code and you can click this button to share the link in your classroom. So you're going to want to make sure you are signed into your teacher account. So to the class you want, you're going to click the class in the assignment. You can give it a title, writing school journal, sorry I had my cap blocks on. Um, you can pick, oh here's what you can pick, um, what students you want to assign it to. Maybe you have your students grouped by levels. Um, that would be an easy way to do it. You can give instructions. So for here I'm going to say um, do one journal a day to assign. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like on the student version. So right here I'm signed in as a student. So here's my writing school journals. All right, so now I am in my classroom and I'm gonna click on the activity. And I'm gonna sign in with Google. So this is like, if your students have Google Classroom, they already have this and they just have to click a few buttons and that's super easy. So it looks big, so I usually minimize it. And then your students can click um, these buttons up here to um, complete parts of the journal. So they can use the highlighter with these different colors to color in the picture. If they're using um, a tablet with a stylus, this is really cool. So I recommend the highlight tool um, for coloring because you can still see the lines, that's helpful. And then there's the pen tool. Again, if they have a stylus, this is going to be awesome. Um, otherwise they can just skip it. See how it's kind of like in a grade font so you don't need to trace it. They won't feel like they're missing anything. Maybe they're just going to go through and they're just going to type their answers. And they, this, these, these journals are made to be errorless so all of these answers are right. So they could go through and circle the one they're picking first to kind of help them while they type or if you want the students to, they could type the whole sentence. So my pencil is dull. So maybe you could go through and show them like with a video first uh, what exactly you expect from them. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few options in just this level for what they can do. Oh, and then um, right here, they can also draw their own pencil. And they're gonna go to turn in. Yes. And woohoo, they get fireworks. So that's super exciting. And then um, I'm gonna go back to the teacher part portion. If I can go back to um, the TPT digital tool area in TPT. And then you can review responses. You can see when it was turned in. You can click on their name. And you can see their work. Isn't that neat? So I hope that helped you. And then you can return it back to the student because you want them to do it again the next day, right? So um, 
you can return and then they can do the next day. So, and you can also like write, you can draw a star on that, whatever, to show them they did a good job. Um, so that is how the TPT digital tool works. And um, I'm gonna show you guys, I also did that with the September national days. They're ready to go. So same thing, you can go to edit pages, choose what levels you want for your students. I'm gonna select, okay, save changes. So then for this one, obviously once students get the chance, they can pick their highlighter, they can circle. I don't actually know when the National Pizza Day is off the top of my head, so I'm guessing they can pick a choice. And then this is the easiest level. So there's no typing or writing um, included, but there are in level two and three. So yeah, so that's super fun, and this tool is available on so many Breezy Special Ed resources. So definitely check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.